In part two of our four-part series, we'll show you how to read an inch micrometer. If you're not familiar with micrometer technology, first view part one. The pitch of the spindle screw is 40 threads per inch. Therefore, one revolution of the thimble moves the spindle face 0.025 inches. Turning the thimble exposes a specific point on the stationary sleeve scale. Each of the numbered segments on the sleeve is 100 thousandths, or a tenth of an inch. The three lines in between the numbered lines are each 25 thousandths of an inch. The thimble has 25 evenly spaced lines around its circumference, each representing one thousandth of an inch. In this example, the four is the last number visible, representing 400 thousandths. Three intermediate lines are visible, representing three times 25, or 75 thousandths. The number on the thimble that aligns with the sleeve center line is one, so the value is 476 thousandths. Many micrometers can measure to a 10 thousandth of an inch. Horizontal lines above the sleeve scale work with the lines on the thimble as a vernier scale. In this example, the line on the vernier scale that most closely aligns with the line on the sleeve is 1, so the value is 0.4761 of an inch. Even if the micrometer has a 10 thousandths scale, if a part has a larger tolerance, say plus or minus 2 thousandths, you would only read to the closest thousandths. For micrometers with ranges greater than one inch, use the lower value of that micrometer's range to the left of the decimal point and the micrometer reading to the right. With a little practice holding the micrometer in part, turning the spindle with just the right amount of force, and interpreting the information on the thimble and sleep, you'll be able to make an accurate, reliable measurement every time.